Renegade, Martin Luther, the Graphic Biography by Andre Gerso Pamillo. It's 10 chapters and an epilogue, and you get a cast of characters. To me, it's like graphic design and watercolor <laughs> type of graphic novel. Doesn't read much. Like, you do get the. To me, it's like still. It's con still considered like a graphic novel, but it's just like something about it that's like, eh, but <laughs> it's still a graphic novel, graphic biography of him. So, hope my, if this doesn't, I should have gotten this ready because I did take some screenshots of of it and like I am not liking this how it's set up it's like computer computer generated images with like cut and paste with the watercolor so you are getting kind of the reflection but like the background of like that church and um it almost looks like a bad video game because like this is what kind of like threw me off like he's in a room full of like I forget if it's his te 99 testament or like whatever but yeah so yeah you got graphic novelist digital animation whatever um but yeah I Again, I'm not fully liking the illustrations done in this book. So it kind of threw me off in the telling of his life in like story form. And it's like kind of like quick jumpy of a biography of him. So and like in a way it can kind of get people into learning about him because it's not a like regular traditional te textbook it's presented as a graphic novel that you could read and so and to me like this isn't like the first piece of work that I've read about him and it seems a little jumpy and slightly jumpy but it goes kind of like quick from one thing to another uh, of his life but again you can't explain every single little piece of detail in a graphic novel so I'm okay with that but I wanted more smoothness in this book and again it's more computer generated watercolor graphic illustration merge and so it was not really connecting with me on a visual level so timeline of his life possible interactions with people in his life so yeah, there's the major characters that you would likely you would find in a textbook are appearing in it, but a few of the characters you're like he could have interacted with these people. So it's not that long, so about you're looking at about 150, 155 pages. So you can't like you can't totally fully cram the amount of information that we have about him into that as well as making it a graphic novel so <laughs> you have that as well and 
it's a different take on his life, a different than the traditional textbook introduction kind of book to him. So, yeah. Renegade Martin Luther, the graphic biography by Andrea Grosso Palomero. Happy readings.